Hello everyone again guys, I hope you enjoy my videos. In this video, we will answer the question why is it not possible to put a Formula 1 engine in a vehicle. If you're ready, let's get started. You know, there are many reasons for this. If there is a title that catches your attention, you can reach it from the bar section of the video. We all have the idea of putting a Formula 1 engine in a real car. We've even done this many times in games. You guessed it. We didn't just think of it. There are many Formula 1 inspired vehicles such as Ferrari F50, AMG1, BMW M5 E60 and Dot S. There will be a separate video for these, don't worry. The engines of the M5 E60 and Ferrari F50 are made with Formula 1 technique. But none of them carry a Formula 1 vehicle engine. The closest example to this is the AMG1. But it is not considered to have exactly carried a Formula 1 engine. Because F1 engines can turn 5000 revolutions per minute at idle. But this AMG one is limited to 1280 rpm. So what is the reason for this? So let's start with the first reason durability as we said formula one engines turn 5000 at idle and up to 15,000 revs in race in the AMG one this is 1,280 and 11,000 revolutions per minute formula one vehicles can last up to a maximum of 1000 kilometers so you will have to replace your engine 6 to 10 times a year. Even with this much R&D, the life of the AMG1 engine is limited to 50,000 kilometers. It's still good value, but that's not exactly a Formula 1 engine put into a vehicle. Yes, I'm waiting for Volkswagen jokes in the comments. Expensiveness. Lack of durability means the engine is running at high RPM. Working at high speed means that the materials of the engine are expensive. These are the costs that will be incurred after purchasing the Formula 1 motor vehicle. That's not what we're talking about. The engine is expensive, believe it or not. The Formula 1 engine itself costs around $10 million. Not to mention the calculations, the engineer fees, to put this in a vehicle. If someone wanted to put it in a normal production car, I don't know how much the car would cost. Fuel. In the video you see on the screen, we calculated how many liters of fuel the Formula 1 cars used per 100 kilometers. Let's jump right into that video. How much gas does an F1 car consume? Too much. If a standard car consumes something like 6 liters per 100 kilometers, F1 sees 45 liters at the same distance. Considering that an average F1 race is 305 kilometers, the amount of gasoline consumed depends on your math. As you see, although Formula 1 cars do not work exactly as the engineers intended, they can be run on normal gasoline. In your 500 mile travel plan, you can sacrifice $450 for fuel alone. I'm not even counting the costs of tires, engine fluids, etc. into this account. Working principle. Formula 1 cars don't run in the cold. There are many reasons for this. In short, when you go below 60 degrees Celsius, the liquids in the engine solidify. It can't work if it is below 80 centigrade. Many of you have seen these images. The reason for this is that Formula 1 engines cannot start in the cold. Low torque. You may have seen that trucks or buses have big engines, low revs but high torque values. As you might have guessed, the small engine, High-speed Formula 1 engine also has very little torque. It is not known exactly, but it is estimated to have 300 to 400 newton meters of torque. If we are going to make a mass production vehicle, the vehicle must have equipment. And it should look like a regular tool. This means that the vehicle is heavy. It must be difficult to move a heavy vehicle with 400 newton meters of torque. Let's not forget that the engine turns 15,000 revs. Sound. I guess it doesn't matter much to explain it. Formula 1 cars here, although not as loud as V10, V8, V12, V6 F1 engines are also extremely loud. If you are going to buy such a vehicle, you will have to think about it as well. That's it for the video, my friends. The reasons could be even more. I would be glad if you mention them in the comments. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next videos. Stay with us in F1.